welcome to Creative V Studios. I'm Carla. I'm the designer of more than 50 quilt patterns that use both beautiful sides of fabric. So today we are in Studio V. It is a uh, tiny little fiberglass scamp camper trailer. And if you are a scamp lover, hang on. Uh, stay with me because I have some fun things to share with you in just a little bit. But first, be, be sure to subscribe click like and tap the bell. So today in my tiny little scamp called Studio B, I have my little Singer Featherweight sewing machine and she is 221. <clears throat> she is called Aria. And Aria is an expressive piece of music. And uh, do you get it? She's a singer. <laughs> so uh, this is Aria and she is the inspiration for the quilt pattern named Aria. So, Aria is made with both beautiful sides of one focus fabric on a scrappy background. So this one, the right side of the focus fabric is used for the machine and the binding. The reverse is used for the pennants, the little scissors, which are these, and the little thimble. It's all on a fun, scrappy background uh, that starts with, at the bottom here, a mottled aqua, which just happens to be my favorite color, so uh, it works perfectly for me. An old, uh, old time uh, newspaper print that has sewing motifs being sold on it. Over here is a fun newspaper print with doilies and butterflies and uh, I think there's a deer in there somewhere. This middle section is gray and white stripey floral batik. And this section here is a uh, grunge with some silvery gray accents to it. Across these two pieces is a uh, black floral on white. When you're building this background, it's really simple. This is the the background I use for almost all of my classes now. You start at the bottom with this piece. You add this accent and your bottom half is finished. These are three rectangular pieces that you put long ways. These two get sewn together, pressed apart, and then you cut them across to insert this accent strip you see here. And down below here is one more accent strip underneath this panel. It's that easy. You sew all those together, attach it to the bottom, and then you get to fuse on whatever beautiful creation you're making. So this is Aria in this version with this focus fabric. Let's look at another one. This is the focus fabric for another Aria quilt. And this is how she turned out. So you can see the machine and the binding are made with the right side. And of course the reverse is used for the pennants, the scissors, and the thimble. The backgrounds are all different. I've got bees and writing and little, uh, tiny little florals, which is reversed. A batik that's got real light, light blues in it on a white. This accent strip here is little letters. You can't even really tell because it's also reversed. And of course, this is our tablecloth or table for the sewing machine. Now this motif happened to have birds in it, so there's a little bird sitting on Aria the singer. Now let's look at one that's a little bit different. This is a tulip pink one. If you're one of those lucky people who owns a colorful singer, you might want to make a colorful one. Right now this is my only colorful singer, but someday, and I want it to be aqua. But uh, again, it's all about your focus fabric. Now this one had a birdie on it. Rather than cutting this bird out, I positioned it when I, when I laid out the template so that it would be in this position here, like on the machine, and it would just kind of move right down in into the base of the machine. Lots of fun. Again, here's more butterflies. Uh, this is a aqua and white toile. Uh, you can see I bring out my favorite colors and the ones that I can because it's your quilt. You should do what you want. What you learn when you're auditioning both sides of these fabrics is that as, as long as the value is correct, you can use 
any color. It's really more about value. So if there's a fab you, fabric that you really want to use, but it wouldn't traditionally be a good choice with your fabrics, make sure the value works and use that fabric. I hope you've noticed this t-shirt. It is Aria and it's one of several, uh, I think I'm up to eight, different quilter t-shirt designs in my new line. I also have some fun things for the scamp world, so if you're one of those people, hang on, we'll get to it real quick. Uh, these t-shirts are Bella Canvas. They're just soft, a thinner weight, not not too thin, but you can layer them and you're not getting, you know, bound up in your jacket or your, or your shirt that you're layering with or sweater. So this one is in heather green. I also have one here in heather mint, but it comes in white. Um, I can't remember all the colors because based on the design, each shirt comes with a different color. Uh, set of colors that you can get it in. This one says uh, quilter, but it also has my little scissors hanging from the queue, a thimble for dotting the eye, and needle and thread coming across underneath the lettering. This one is my dash about quilt. So it's a nestled churn dash quilt and you make it with both sides of three fabrics and it looks great on this t-shirt. And of course, I always encourage everyone to be creative. There's also um, Retreat Sweet Retreat, uh, Quilt Life, Quilt Love. Uh, there's lots of lots of fun different ones with different little artwork with them. Three, if you two, are in the scamp one. world, I have two new t-shirts and a couple of sweatshirts, a scamp blanket, some playing cards. Um, I'm always trying to come up with new uh, scamp things, but this is uh, artwork of my little scamp in the mountains. And uh, she's got some little sweet flowers uh, in the windows. And so this is one and uh, just one of the colors also. And this is, I think going to be my favorite. Here she is, just lovely, and if you've looked around, I sort of like flowers and bright, and you know, no apologies for pretty. So this is a fun little scamp shirt. I ho hope you'll check it out. And last but not least, I just got this in the mail. It's my sample from my new fabric that is scamp fabric. I'm so excited. Just below this video will be a description about the video. That's where you'll find the links for the Aria patterns, the quilter t-shirts, and the fun new scamp things too. This little girl belonged to a sweet friend um, who's no longer with us, but uh, her name is Nancy, and uh, I think of her when I pull this little girl out. This little thimble belonged to my mother-in-law, Pat, and uh, Nancy and Pat were friends. They knew each other in the quilting world, and so it was just a fun little addition to add to the pattern. Thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to subscribe, click like, and tap the bell. And if you'd share this with your friends, I'd really be grateful. Thanks so much. Bye now.